everyone, welcome back. Okay, so this is my last video that I'm recording kind of in this um, <laughs> series of four videos, I guess today. It's not really a series, but you know what I mean. Um, I, want it, I want to, these are not all gonna be uploaded at the same time. I am recording all of these ones that are not facing, that I'm not facing the camera are getting recorded on the same day, but I'm gonna upload them over the course of the week. So just to have a little bit more content up you know, throughout the week versus having everything up on the same day. Plus, it always takes me a while to edit and get them uploaded. And I'm playing around with iMovie on my phone to figure out how to edit them because my personal laptop, this is going to make this video longer and this is going to be a huge haul, so I really shouldn't be gabbing like this. But um, I have a personal, like, um, um, like PC laptop, right? And then I have an iPhone and I have tried multiple times to film a video on my iPhone and then download it to my computer and it just does not work. I haven't invested a ton of time in trying to figure out why, but so if I record on my phone, I have to just upload the video from my phone, which limits my editing ability versus if I record with my camera, which is what I have been doing lately, um, since I kind of came back to YouTube, I can then cop like transfer that video over to my laptop, do a bunch of editing, and then get it uploaded. Um, so these videos are going to have limited editing, <laughs> but I might play around with it a little bit more. So those of you that film with your phones, what do you use? I'm curious to know, what do you use to edit, to upload? Like, I'm, I feel like I'm such a novice and I don't have like a MacBook or an iPad or anything. I've been thinking about getting a MacBook maybe. I don't know that it's necessary, but I feel like it would give me a little bit more options. So let me know your thoughts down below. Anyhow, sorry for the tangent. <laughs> this is an order. This is my order from Lavender and Speckles for her January. I'm going to call it a pre-order simply because not it's not all made you order it then they make it and then they ship it but I guess the way that they're doing it is a little bit more like um they start making some of the product ahead of time so they're calling it like I think made to order or something like that it, to me it just seems like a pre-order it's just that they have a really quick turnaround time so I place this order I do have like my shipping like packing slip in the box. I placed the order on January 6th and I received it like right at the end of January. I don't, I think it came on Wednesday, which I think was 31st of January. So fantastic turnaround time. It is a big order. I will say I went a little crazy because there were just so many scents that sounded amazing. Um, so what you're seeing here is just one of the, the sampler I got, but anyhow, so you get in your box this thank you card, and then on the back has their social media information. I need to post in the group because they do poll winners um, from people that post their hauls in the group. And then here is the information. So Beth is the owner, but her husband, I think his name is Matt, is very, very involved in the company, it seems like as well. That's the back, that's really pretty. And then that's her little chickens, lavender and speckles. I got a sample. This is gingerbread milkshake. And I like, it's it's kind of like two little pieces in there. So that's nice to give you kind of a good enough, like this would be perfect for me to melt in my office. This is really good. It smells like a yummy gingerbread, but it's creamed up a little bit with that milkshake. So yeah, that smells delicious. I'm not gonna start with a sampler. So I got the pine cone sampler. I'm not gonna start with this. I just felt like I wanted something in front of you guys while I started. Um, so I have a lot of bags. I did get quite a few of their small bags, which are supposed to be, I think, between four and four and a half ounces. You get six of the bunt shapes and um, their bags are super thick. So I got quite a few of these and then I got a handful of large bags plus the sampler. So this is frosted lemon pound cake. It says lemony goodness, sweet lemon pound cake with rich buttercream frosting and fresh lemon zest. And this is only my second order from Lavender and Speckles. My first one, I went very small, but I've had pretty good performance from everything. Ooh, this just smells good. 
yeah, it's like a sweet, creamy, tart lemon bakery that is delicious. So I have, I think, an, a handful of my recent videos been picking up some lemon bakery scents. This next one here is Cotton Candy Frosting Birthday Cake. So it's Strawberry Pound Cake, Cotton Candy Frosting, and Birthday Cake. I love Strawberry Pound Cake, so I thought this sounded great. And even though a lot of these are like, they sounded really good, I didn't feel like I need to get a big quantity of these. So this, the Strawberry Pound Cake is pretty light in this one. I can smell it, but it's not real strong. Get a little bit of the birthday cake, a little bit of the cotton candy frosting. This one smells a little light on cold right now, so it'll be interesting to see how that one does. This next one here is lilac and fireside marshmallow. So this is fresh lilac blended with sweet and smoky fireside marshmallows. And generally I'm not a floral person, but I do, if there's a little bit of a floral note with some bakery, this is really pretty. Yeah, the lilac, it's floral, but it's not overly floral. And you just get a little bit of like sweetness from the far, the fireside marshmallow. I don't really get the smoky like firesideness on cold, but that does smell really good. Just a very pretty um, kind of sweetened up lilac scent. This next one here, like everyone raves about, is a very popular scent, but it does have Palo Santo, and I'm particular about Palo Santo. So this is Speckles Birthday Cake. It's birthday cake blended with sugar cookies, pecan waffles, cinnamon, vanilla, and lots of Palo. And also like pecan waffles, like I'm assuming that's pumpkin pecan waffles, which is one that, not a favorite scent of mine. So I thought, well, let me try it because it seems to be a fan favorite, but... I was a little, this was a little bit of a gamble for me. This is beautiful. She has a really nice palo. Now on cold, I'm not picking up the pumpkin pecan waffles at all. This just smells like a sweet bakery kind of creamy palo santo. That is really, really pretty. So on cold, I do really like that one. So I'm excited to have gotten that one. This next one here is Cabin Cookies. This is spicy cinnamon, bayberry, and orange zest, sugar cookie royale, and palo santo. I love all the background pictures she has too, and she does have a lot of um, Bible verses on these. So again, this is a palo santo, but a lot of other stuff going on in it. Okay, so this is pretty. Um, spicy cinnamon, bayberry, and orange zest. So that, that particular part of this blend gives you kind of like a fall cinnamon spice. But it's not bakery cinnamon. It's definitely like a spicy cinnamon. So it's okay. I'll be curious to see. Um, and you get some of the bakery from the Sugar Cookie Royale and you get the Palo Santo. I'll be curious to kind of see how that comes together on warm to see how much I like that. I'm going to try not to knock my camera around too much. It's a little crooked too, I just realized. Okay, this next one here is Calm Nights, and I have had this one before. Absolutely love it. It's a blend of Calm and Wild, which is Sweet Lavender and Ice Vanilla Woods, and Marshmallows, Vanilla Sea Salt, Driftwood, and a Hint of S'mores, which is their version of Bath & Body Works Beach Nights. So it's Sweet Lavender, Ice Vanilla Woods, and Beach Nights. Yeah, on cold, you get mostly the ice vanilla woods, and I would say the same is true when you warm it. But you just get the sweet marshmallow, um, kind of salty sea air from the beach nights that just creams out that ice vanilla woods. It is so good. On warm, it is so good too, and it lasts like a long time. I told you guys I got a lot here. <laughs> Loopy strawberries. This is strawberry pound cake blended with Fruit Loops and a touch of green apple. Ooh, that's good. Um, 
I have not had Fruit Loops from a vendor in a while. Her Fruit Loops is really good. A lot of times the Fruit Loops tends to overpower the blend. So I think she did a really good job blending this one. You get the cereal note though from the Fruit Loop. I don't think I feel like I distinctly distinctly smell green apple, but there is a little something extra to this. And then you just get the sweet bakery of the strawberry pound cake. Wow, that is way better than I expected it to be. Not that I expect it to not be good, but I thought it was going to be kind of just like, oh, I hit my camera, just like a basic scent, but it actually is like quite delicious. This next one here is Angry Sea. That is a cool picture on that. So this is black, amber, lavender, plum, sweet florals, ozone with notes of vanilla and amber. I wasn't sure of this one. This one was definitely outside my comfort zone, but I don't know. I keep trying to try different scents. The plum in this probably got me a bit. This is pretty. So this is, it has a little bit of floral like a little bit of kind of a perfumey note. I feel like I definitely get the lavender in this. It's definitely like an herbal lavender. But there's a sweetness kind of undertone to it. Yeah, this is definitely though going to be a scent that's probably going to be in like my laundry room or bathroom. Because it is fresh. Has a little bit of kind of like a, an herbal kind of quality to it. So I did get, um, I wanted to try out her, some of her lavender blends to see like how I like them for nighttime melting. This is sweet lavender cuppy cake. So that's sweet lavender cuppy cake and cotton candy frosting. Love the cupcake picture on this one. Super cute. That's good. It's definitely a sweet lavender. It has a little bit of an herbalness to it but it definitely is sweetened up a lot from the cupcake and cotton candy frosting. So we'll see how I like this on warm. It's definitely one that I would, I hope that the lavender comes out a bit more when it melts, but I did want to try. I mean, obviously when I got it, I knew it was going to have some sweet bakery notes in it. This next one is another one I think I've seen a lot of people rave about. This is cake, cake, cake. So it's strawberries, pound cakes. I think that's strawberry pound cake pumpkin pecan waffles and birthday cake again a little unsure because of the pumpkin pecan waffles but I love strawberry pound cake this is good I think that at least on cold Beth does a really good job about blending so that like pumpkin pecan waffles which tends to overpower scents she did a good job to not have it overpower now, I do think it's stronger than the strawberry pound cake, but it's a nice kind of cakey blend. I do really like this. I think the name of that is like super appropriate for it too. Stay. Oh, now they're all going to fall. Okay. This next one here I have already and I forgot. <laughs> so I haven't melted it yet, but I like it on cold. So I'm happy to have another one. Birchwood and buttercream. This is crisp birchwood pine blended with sweet decadent scent of buttercream. So this is like right up my alley. Yeah, that smells so good. Just that like kind of like a sweet pine with a little bit of extra sweetness from the buttercream. So this is really good. I like that. I will definitely make sure to melt the other one I have first though. All right, this is The Works. This is, uh, it says, you like pretzel day. Salty pretzels blended with caramel and maple sauce, buttercream, and sprinkled with pieces of peanut butter cookies. So pretzel, I have not been a huge fan of pretzel over the years and wax. Um, so this was a little bit of a gamble as well for me. But this is good. Yeah, really, really good. So... Like, smelling this on cold, I would not say, like, I'm getting bakery, but I feel like I'm not, like, I wouldn't say I was getting pretzel. It smells so good. Um, caramel and maple sauce is light. It's not heavy on caramel or maple. Um, it's just like a sweet, kind of doughy bakery, which I guess you could say pretzel, but honestly, if I didn't know what was in this, I would not say pretzel I'm smelling it on cold. 
I got a lot of strawberry ones. Here's strawberry lemon zest pie. So strawberry pound cake with some extra lemon zest blended with pie crust and vanilla waffle cones. I think a lot of these were in a strawberry pound cake sampler. I think she did do the strawberry pound cake sampler. So you could do a strawberry pound cake sampler or you could get them in the full size. I think I just opted to get them in the full size. Yeah. It smells like strawberry pound cake with like lemon. Like a sweet bakery lemon. That's good. Delicious, delicious. Then I got strawberry fluff bread. This is strawberry pound cake, fluffy marshmallows, and zucchini bread. You know, of course, I would love this. Oh, that smells really good. Her zucchini bread is really good. This is like a nice, sweet strawberry bakery. Really love this one. The next one here is oh, is going on the floor. <laughs> the next one here, and I feel like I bumped my camera again and again. Sorry, guys. This is I'm not used to filming this direction, so I feel like this is a little bit of a mess. Okay, this is Palo Santa. This is another popular blend. So her donut shop in Palo Santo is a super popular blend, which is cinnamon sugar donuts and Palo Santo. And then this is with roasted pine cones. I think my understanding is this is one that Summer Michelle like requested that she blend the donut shop in Palo with the roasted pine cones. That's my understanding from other videos I've watched. Yeah, smells nice. Her, I like her Palo Santo because it doesn't overpower the blends and it's like a sweet, warm, woody type Palo. I get a little bit of the like cinnamon sugar. It has quite a bit of cinnamon in it though. It's got a kick of cinnamon. And then I feel like I get, yeah, some of that nice, warm, roasted pine cones. That smells delicious. I have a lot more here. This <laughs> maybe have to do this in two parts. Strawberry vanilla fudge cookie cake. So strawberry pound cake, vanilla butter fudge, sugared strawberry cookies, and white cake. Yeah. So strawberry. This is just gonna be strawberry bakery. Yeah. Oh, that smells delicious. Yeah, that's exactly what it smells like. And the white cake in here does not have an almond note which white cake from a lot of vendors tends to have an almond undertone to it. Quite a strong almond undertone. That does not have it, at least that I can tell on cold. This next one here is Call It A Night. This is fresh lavender, sweet lavender, fluffy marshmallows, and a hint of peppermint. Perfect kind of nighttime blend for me. Ooh, this is good. It definitely has a good kick of peppermint. Yeah, I feel like I get lavender and peppermint. Definitely heavier on the peppermint. I do really like this though. So that will be good for nighttime. Vanilla birch and honey. This is acacia honey. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Peach nectar, sweet mandarin, vanilla, and birch. I love vanilla birch. Now honey is definitely a scent that I've stayed away from in vendor wax. Um, I think I tried a honey oil like years ago and did not like it at all so this was another wild card for me this is so pretty though it's very light right now I get a little bit of that vanilla birch and then just there's like a sweet undertone to it that to my nose I wouldn't distinctly say that's honey but it smells really nice. It kind of just smells like a sweetened vanilla birch. So really like that one. This is pine cones and spice, which is roasted pine cones blended with cinnamon buns and creamy frosting and a touch of pumpkin pie spice. I feel like, is this one in the pine cone sampler? <laughs> I might have doubled up here. Ooh, that is quite a bit of spice. That is definitely a strong cinnamon spice, but you also get the roasted pine cones. So that is a very spicy roasted pine cone scent. Lavender and buttercream, or sorry, lavender buttercream. So sweet lavender and vanilla buttercream. Yeah, it smells like 
lavender and buttercream. Her, it's called sweet lavender. It does have a little bit of an herbalness to it. It's not as sweet as some sweet lavenders I've smelled from other vendors. And sometimes I feel like vendors say their sweet lavender is actually herbal. So that one's a good one. Pipe smoke and sugar cookies. So this is pipe tobacco blended with maple bourbon and sugar cookie royale. Love tobacco and I love, um, I do enjoy like bourbon, whiskey, alcohol scents. Oh my God, this one's fantastic. Oh my God, yes, this I could totally, I need to warm it. But the bourbon, the maple bourbon in here, it's like a sweet bourbon and it doesn't come off alcoholy, but you can tell it's bourbon. Oh my God, that's so delicious. And then the tobacco, you get that sweet tobacco leaf. You get the sugar cookie royale. This one is fantastic on cold. So on cold, that is definitely a favorite. Vanilla sugar, marshmallow fireside. So this is warm vanilla sugar, Palo Santo, and marshmallow fireside. Love warm vanilla sugar, and I love marshmallow fireside. I do think I really love her Palo as well. Yeah, I get that warm vanilla sugar and the marshmallow fireside. And a little bit of Palo. It's just a nice blend of all three of those. None of those scents are overpowering the others. So that is really good. This next one here is lemon zucchini bread. This is creamy lemon pound cake blended with zucchini bread. I forgot a lot of these scents that I bought. Ooh. Oh my God, that's so good. Her lemon pound cake is delicious. You can't see my face, but my eyes like rolled in the back of my head. Oh my God, that smells good. That is like decadent lemon pound cake with some zucchini bread. That is good enough to eat. <laughs> it smells like. All right, here's honey pear cotton candy zucchini bread. So this says, um, oh, the scent notes are not on here. Okay, so I'm guessing this is honey pear cider, cotton candy and zucchini bread. And I've avoided honey pear cider in the past, but then in a sample that I got from the bathing garden, I absolutely loved it. And so now I'm like actually looking for that scent. Oh, so good. Oh my gosh, you get the honey pear and it is phenomenal. Ooh, and then there's like a spiciness to it though. That pear is so, it's not spicy, like cinnamon spicy, but there's like a punch to it. I don't know, like it really gets you in the nose, but it smells amazing. And you get a little bit of the zucchini bread and it's sweet. Ooh, and it smells strong. This one smells really amazing on cold. Uh, this next one here is Palo Frosted Sugar Cookies. So it's Buttercream Sugar Cookie Royale and Palo Santo. Yeah, her Palo Santo is definitely the softest Palo Santo I've smelled from vendors. It's just a soft, warm, woody note. And then that buttercream in the cookie just sweeten it up. So... That is good, good, good. Let's see, a couple more of these small bags. And then I have, I think, two, five large bags. Beach marshmallow cookies. So this is her Beach Nights Bath and Body Works type. And then Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds Bath and Body Works type. And Sugar Cookie Royale. So love Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I've really been enjoying Beach Nights in blends where it's blended well and it does not overpower the other scent notes. Oh my God, this smells amazing. You equally get the Beach Nights and the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. And so good. And the Sugar Cookie Royale, I think just gives it some extra sweet bakery goodness. That one is really, really good. That's another favorite. And then the last of the small bags, this is strawberry French toast. This is sweet strawberry and buttery French toast and maple syrup. So this, I don't know that I'm a fan of her sweet strawberry. 
it's kind of like the strawberry jam that I've, I've smelled from other vendors. It's definitely a strawberry that's out there that I've smelled from vendors, but it's not my favorite. It has a little bit of that green note to it, like the, the um, stem of the strawberry. So it's okay, and that's what I get the most. I get a little bit of kind of that buttery French toast and maple syrup in there, but it's definitely heavy on the strawberry. Um, okay. So of the large bags, only one is a repurchase and the other four were kind of a gamble that I was like, I think I'm going to love them. So this first one is strawberry musk. I did get this in my first order from her melted through it pretty quickly. I absolutely love it. It's so amazing. So it's strawberry pound cake blended with her iced vanilla woods. This is a powerhouse scent and it is like the perfect blend of strawberry pound cake and iced vanilla woods. Like it is fantastic. So I was like, I have to have a large bag. She has it in her pre-order that's coming up on, I think it's the 10th. Is it the 10th when she's opening? And I'm even in my head thinking I might want to get another one. Oh my God, it's so good. It is so good. So good. It is just that sweet strawberry pound cake and that amazing iced vanilla woods. Iced vanilla woods definitely to my nose is like leans masculine, um, but it's just gorgeous. It's such a gorgeous scent on its own. It's strong and a little overpowering for me, but with the strawberry pound cake, it's phenomenal. Now, I haven't tried it on its own from Beth. I might be inclined to try and get a small bag of the Ice Vanilla Woods just on its own to see. I've had it on its own from other vendors and it's really, really strong and a little too much for me. But a lot of her scents that I feel like oftentimes are really strong by other vendors seem to be very well blended or not overpowering. So I would definitely try a small bag in just her Ice Vanilla Woods and see how I like it on its own. Okay, the other one I got a large bag in is G's PB&J. I've seen so many people talk about this one. It says, my little guy loves a PB&J, peanut butter cookies, raspberry jam, sweet blackberries, marshmallow fluff, and fresh baked bread, and a hint of funnel cake. Brainstorming help from Megan Sturgeon. Okay. So I guess some of that helped her come up with this blend. This smells delicious. You get a little bit of that um, fresh baked bread. You get a little bit of peanut butter, but it's not overpowering on the peanut butter. The raspberry jam and blackberries. It's in here. It's just everything is blended really well where you, where you are getting a little bit of all of it. And nothing is overpowering the other scents. That is really good. I'm glad I got a large bag in this. I think I will really enjoy that one. The next one here is pistachio vanilla cream pie. I was just like, I've been digging pistachio lately. Um, I'll, granted, I did not know if her pistachio was going to be nutty or cherry. But I have been enjoying Cherry Bakery anyway, so I thought I'd just give it a try. This is pistachio pudding cake, creamy vanilla, and pie crust. This is definitely a cherry-leaning pistachio, I will say. But it's still good. So it definitely smells like a kind of more cherry bakery type scent. Ooh, that is strong. If you watched my last Should You Melt This, this reminds me a lot of that pistachio cherry something bunt that I melted from um, Sniff My Tarts. That it smells just like that. It smells good, but it is definitely more cherry. This next one is all my favorite things. This is strawberry pound cake, roasted pine cones, marshmallow fireside, and iced vanilla woods. So this is basically strawberry musk, but with roasted pine cones and marshmallow fireside. So I was like, yes, I'm probably going to love this one. Oh my gosh. You definitely get the strawberry musk in this. Like you can smell the, stra the strawberry musk note, right? Oh, get the extra like sweet kind of smokiness from the marshmallow fireside and a little bit of that extra tree kind of note from the pine cones. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That is so good. It smells so strong. I am excited to melt that one. I wish she put pour dates on these because 
the invoice does say when you can melt it after yeah warm after january 31 but i know so many of these she started pouring like back in december i feel like and so some of them could be very well cured but anyhow <laughs> um okay then the last of the big bags is very berry cornbread so it's strawberry pound cake blueberry muffins and sweet raspberry punch blended with honey cornbread Ooh, this is so good. I was a little worried that the raspberry punch was going to like overpower this blend. But that is gorgeous. That is just, again, her blending <laughs> is phenomenal. Like the strawberry, the blueberry, the raspberry, it's like equal parts of all three. With just, it's sweet, it's berry. And the cornbread's in there, but it's not like overly cornbready. It's definitely not corn chip. It's definitely not zucchini bread. It's just a beautiful berry bakery. Oh my God, that one's amazing. It's making my mouth water. So that is, what is it called? Very, very cornbread. Okay, so then the sampler, the roasted pine cone sampler and typical Jenny fashion. <sighs> I got to because for me, I was like, well, pine cones, I'm not, it's not a scent I'm going to melt in my bedroom bathroom. Um, I could put it in my office, but I was really like, these are scents I'm going to like want to melt in my open concept. So I was like, let me get two of the samplers. Cause then that's six buns, which essentially equals one of her small bags. Um, <laughs> so that's what I did. And actually I placed two orders. My first order was all of this stuff that you're seeing right now. Then so many people were talking about the roasted pine cone sampler. I went back in and got two. So I placed a second order. So her, she does do flat rate shipping, $10 per order. She combines your order, but she says she will refund if your shipping is over her act, if you paid more than the actual shipping. So although she combined my order, she did keep the 20 bucks because I'm sure it was a big box. So I'm sure her shipping cost was more than the $20, which I'm totally fine with that. I don't expect the vendor to cover my costs. Oh, I keep knocking my camera. I feel like this video is going to be a little bit of a mess. But anyhow, so roasted pine cone sampler. Let me go ahead and jump in. And there is another sample. Okay, let me find it. Yes, there is a sample here of bourbon pine cones that she included because it didn't make the list um, for the sampler. This is French bourbon blended with roasted pine cones. And I was excited to see that because I'm really enjoying like all those alcohol scents out there. I feel like the oil companies have just gotten really good about making them. Either that or my nose has just changed a lot. This is really good. Yeah, so um, I do believe she has a pine cone, the roasted pine cones on its own in the sampler. Because I don't know if it's her wax that she uses. But there's definitely a creaminess in this that I would not expect. But I do get the bourbon. It's good. It's just a touch of bourbon. It is not heavy bourbon. And I get the roasted pine cones. But her roasted pine cone scent is quite creamy. So got that one lavender pine cones so it's sweet lavender roasted pine cones and bath and body works beach nights type oh that is beautiful i think that beth is gonna bring me back to loving beach nights because her beach nights is subtle it's there but it's not overpowering and that has been my issue is like when I get Beach Nights blends from other vendors, sometimes the Beach Nights just takes over everything. I get a little, just a hint of the lavender in this. It's not a lot. I get mostly Beach Nights and the pine cones. But that is, that is really good. So that's lavender pine cones. This next one is masala chai and cinnamon pine cones. This is nutty and spicy masala chai, freshly baked cinnamon buns and roasted pine cones. I love masala chai. I think the first time I ever had it was from Swanky and I absolutely love it. Yeah, those like chai spices. It's so different than like cinnamon spice, right? Yeah, that smells good. You get a little bit of the like cinnamon bun. 
I do feel like the roasted pine cones are like not super strong in these blends. Um, so we'll see. Okay, so here's her roasted pine cones just on its own. So I can see how that smells on its own. Okay, yeah, I mean, I get it. It's good. And it's sometimes roasted pine cones can be a little bit too cologne for me from other vendors. But hers is creamy and delicious. And just has enough of it's like a roasty like pine is basically what it's like. Really, really good. Um, I feel like I'm going to say pine cones like a million times in this video. This is pine cones and spice and sugar cookie. Uh, so it's roasted pine cones blended with cinnamon buns and creamy frosting and a touch of pumpkin, spi pumpkin pie spice and sugar cookies for a hint of sweetness. So this is similar to one of the other ones I got. Yeah, so you get, I do really feel like I get the cinnamon buns and the pumpkin pie spice in this. I feel like the pine cones is just very, very like an undertone. It's good, but this is definitely heavier on the spice. Um, so I feel like that's going to be one that'll wait till fall. Strawberry musk and roasted pine cones. So yeah, so it's her strawberry pound cake, ice vanilla woods, blended with roasted pine cones. So this is going to be similar to the all my favorite things. It's just not going to have the marshmallow fireside. Oh, so good. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. But it is similar to the to the all my favorite things, but you do get that marshmallow fireside in the all my favorite things. Here is Palo peppermint pine cones. So this is Palo Santo peppermint and pine cones. Oh my, creamy Palo Santo and roasted pine cones with just a touch of peppermint. Let's see if it is just a touch. That other peppermint blend was quite pepperminty. Okay, yeah, the peppermint is not strong in here at all. Yeah, it's just a good blend of all three. Really, really, really good. Excited for that one. Cake and pine cones. So this is strawberry pound cake, vanilla buttercream, and pine cones. Oh, I love this one. I, love, I just love strawberry pound cake, I think. So you get the strawberry pound cake, you get a little bit of the roasted pine cones. Yummy. That's yummy, yummy, yummy. This, I, this is like a huge pile of wax. Dreamy pine cones. So this is dreamy marshmallow clouds. Oh, that's the boardwalk marshmallow clouds blended with roasted pine cones. Love boardwalk marshmallow clouds. Oh, I love this one. I wonder how boardwalk marshmallow clouds, strawberry pound cake, and roasted pine cones would be. Or boardwalk marshmallow clouds, strawberry pine cone, and iced vanilla woods. Oh my god, this is so good. Yeah, I love this. I love Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. That is a good one. This is Oh Christmas Tree. So this is Roasted Pine Cones and Palo Santo. It says a tad heavier on the Palo, but so good. Yeah, that's nice. I do really enjoy her Palo Santo. That's really good. Okay. I feel like there's like... I think I love everything in this order, except that one strawberry blend was like, meh. But okay, vanilla pine cones. So sweet and creamy vanilla blended with roasted pine cones. Oh yeah, that is so good. You really get the vanilla. I do wish the roasted pine cone came out a little bit more in this one. But I don't know, I might be going nose blind to it as well because I've been smelling. I feel like I need like a jar of coffee beans here. Salty butterscotch pine cones. So this is yummy butterscotch, um, which is a Bath and Body Works type for salted butterscotch blended with roasted pine cones. This is one that I was like, I'm not a huge butterscotch person. But this one's quite good. It does have quite a bit of the like butterscotchy sweetness. But yeah, it smells pretty good. So I'll definitely, I'll definitely melt it. Okay, then the very last one here is honey spice pine cones. So this is sweet honey pears with a touch of spice blended with roasted pine cones. I wonder if this is the same honey pear that's in this honey pear cotton candy zucchini. 
Yeah, it is. Because remember I said that honey pear smelled like it had a spice note? I do think that's um, honey spiced pears. I think that's what that oil is. Because you get a spiciness to it. Ah, that's good. Yeah, I'm really hoping some of these pine cone um, ones, though, that this pine cone scent comes out in a little bit more. Um, so I do think I'm going to try to be patient and let all of this cure at least another month. I may break, like, there's a few that are really strong and cold, like the strawberry musk, the all my favorite things that I got in big bags that I'll probably go ahead and try. Um, but like some of these smaller ones, I may hold off and just let them cure a little bit longer so that I make sure I'm getting the best performance out of them. So Beth is opening again. I, again, I think it's February 10th, but I'll post down in the description box if it's a different date. I was thinking I might stay away, but I'm probably going to double check her list. And if there's a, a handful of scents that I really love from this order that are available in this next pre-order, I might grab a few large bags, but I'm going to try to resist. So we'll see. Anyhow, if you guys ordered from Lavender and Speckles in this pre-order, what did you get? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear. Um, if you got any of these scents that I got, have you, what did you think on cold? Um, kind of curious about your thoughts. And if you haven't tried her yet, are you thinking about maybe trying her wax? So I went a little crazy. I'm definitely not going to do this in future pre-orders with her. I think I was just, she had so many of her like popular blends that I was just like, I went a little ham on this. <laughs> so, um, but love to hear your thoughts. If you've tried her out, if there's other scents you'd recommend I get from her. Um, excited to hear. Thank you all so much for watching. Sorry, this was such a long video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.